This is a camel. It's Minecraft 1.20's newest mob. And I want to be the first person to get 1,000 camels in a hardcore Minecraft world. And of course, to store 1,000 camels, we're going to have to create a massive camel paradise with everything a camel needs. But to make that happen, we need to find our first camel. I'm not really sure how far to go. I just know we need to be thousands of blocks away from our base. Mom, we're nearly there. Okay, I think here we'll do. Now from here, we need to find ourselves a desert. The reason it's important to find a desert is camels only spawn in desert villages. Yeah, this is a bit too small of a desert. Camels, where are you? I swear I've seen every kind of biome except a desert. Oh my god, let's go. This is the new like cherry blossom biome. This is sick. Wow. And more importantly, it shows us we're definitely in 1.20 chunks. So the camel's got to be close. Wait. Let's go! It's a desert. There's got to be a village. Yes! Oh my god! Let's go! We have ourselves a camel. Oh my god, I am on a camel. These things are so tall. Imagine what a thousand of them is going to look like. Speaking of which, to get more camels, we're going to need to breed them, which requires two camels. So for now, this guy can get in the hole. One camel down, one camel to go. Come on, there's got to be another village. Yes, and another camel. Perfect. Wait, but how are we going to transport this camel to the other village? Wait, maybe I can get him in a boat? Wait a second. I've just seen camels don't fit in boats. The only other way I can think of is leads, but we don't have any of them. Or a saddle. Where are we going to get one of those from? Wait, can you get a saddle in here? No. Wait, maybe there'll be a saddle in here? No. Wait a second. I've just done some research and we're not actually going to need a saddle. All we need is some cacti and hopefully, yes, the camel should follow us and they also eat it. We have a long journey ahead of us. I think I'll call this guy Roger. No, not again. So lazy. Let's go. So now we can finally feed these guys some cactus and hopefully create a baby camel. Oh my God, this guy is so cute. <laughs> but if we're going to do that like a thousand times, we're going to need about 2000 cactus. And I'm not even sure there's that much in the entire desert. Hmm, what are we going to do? This calls for a massive cactus farm, but we have no materials and we're over 50,000 blocks away from all of our farms and our chest room. Well, I guess we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Come on, cactus. Okay, that's the cactus for the farm collected. Now we need a bunch of wood that we can turn into fences. Whoa, this tree is actually kind of cool, but it's still going to become a cactus farm. All right, and that's all the fences. Now, next up is 260 glass. The sand for this should be the easy part, but how are we going to smelt it when we have no fuel? Wait a second. Uh, yes, there's iron in here. We can use it to make a bucket and then use this lava as a fuel source. Let's go. Okay, and finally, that's all the glass we need. But we have used up all our iron on this bucket. And we still need a bunch of hoppers for this farm. So it looks like we're going mining. All of this to get a thousand camels. It's going to look so cool though. Yes, iron. Let's go. Massive cactus farm. Here we come. Oh, yeah. Ow. Why did I say ow in real life? All right, now we've got a problem because I only have my Silk Touch pickaxe with us and we can't get this iron out of the ores. Uh, so we literally need to get this cobblestone, craft it into a pickaxe and use this to mine the iron. Yeah, this world is over 4,000 days old. <laughs> and so with some lava from this lava lake, I was able to smelt up the iron and craft up all the things we need for this farm. And now it's building time. Let's make this interesting. If I don't finish building the farm in 20 minutes, then I have to give a random person in my Discord server a shout out. Okay, so three, two, one, go. All right. Uh, first thing we need to do is get glass and make a perimeter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, from here, we need to add a bunch of sand. Oh my God, I forgot about this part. Then we need to do a pattern like this. Oh my God, what? I'm actually really not sure if we're gonna be able to do it or not. There we go, what's next? All right, now we need to dig holes along here like this. 
No, I keep messing up. Oh my god, what is that? There's a ravine under the build. No. Oh my god. No, this is really gonna cost us a lot of time. Wait, why don't we just build it on the grass instead of putting dirt under it? Oh no, this is gonna cost us so much time. One, two, three, four, five. Oh no, there's mobs everywhere now. We need to sleep. The time is not looking good. We can also use this water to clear out the grass. And then we need to do the sand pattern again. Nice, we're making good progress. All right, nice. Now we dig up these. Come on. Then in each one of these spots, we place an open fence gate. All right, now we need to dig off a hole here, 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 and here. And now we need to make the collection system under the farm. Come on. I'm going to place some blocks here. Connect these holes up. Oh, we're running out of time. All right, that's all connected. Oh, no, we've only got like two minutes left. Oh, we have to go sleep. Come on. And we just had water there, there. Oh, no, the time's going to run out. And there's no way we're going to be able to finish this farm. <laughs> We have failed. All right, so shout out to Percival and Jaber. Now let's finish this farm. All right, so this is one layer of the cactus farm and it produces about 200 cactus per hour. But I'm thinking we need about a thousand, so... And just like that, we have a thousand cactus per hour cactus farm. I also had to fly home and get ourselves a fortune three pickaxe. So in a minute, we can build our giant camel enclosure. But first, we need to bring the camels here. Now, this is going to be hard because we still don't have a saddle. And this is no longer the camel hole. If I grab some cactus. Come on, camels. Hello there. Time to go to your new home. Let's go. Oh my God, these guys take up so much space and there's only three of them. I wonder if a thousand of them will crash my PC. No, don't sit down. Well, I think we're leaving a camel behind. Okay, and now that we've got two camels here, we can start to breed them again. One cactus for you and one for you. And we now have four camels. So whilst we're waiting for these guys to be able to breed again, let's build them an awesome enclosure. I think we'll use sandstone for this. Oh, it's so satisfying. Then we can use this to craft up some sandstone walls and build a safe enclosure for our camels. Excuse me, Mr. Camel, you need to get inside this fence, please. Perfect. Wait, how did he escape? Um, wait, what? Camels can walk on walls. Um, I guess we have to make them too high into the enclosure. Oh my god, even the baby ones can go over it. Let's make sure they're nice and secure. And there we go. The camels are nice and secure. But because these walls have to be too high, it requires double the amount of sandstone. So I think we'll just upgrade the enclosure as we get more and more camels. So for a little while, everything was going well. The cactus farm was producing a lot of cactus and I was making good progress with breeding up the camels. But that's when I realized getting to 1000 camels wasn't going to be as easy as I thought. You see, each camel has a five minute cooldown before it can breed again. That doesn't sound too bad, right? But you also have to consider each camel takes 20 minutes to grow up so that it can be bred with other camels. And consequently, it took us 40 minutes to get eight camels. Meaning continuing at this rate, 1000 camels would take us over three entire days to get. So I guess the only thing we can do is work as fast as we can. However, I soon realized that the more camels we have, the more camels we can get in each breeding cycle, meaning it's gonna take a lot less time than I thought. All right, so we now have 72 camels, but I don't think this enclosure is gonna fit anymore. So the plan is to upgrade this tiny enclosure into a camel's paradise. It will be filled with everything a camel could ever want, and it's gonna be massive, so it will have plenty of room for our 1,000 camels. So step one is building a massive wall around the area for the the camels. But we don't want to make a boring old wall like this, so let's try and spice it up a bit. Hmm, I think acacia wood would go very nicely with sandstone. All right, let's see what we can do with this. We'll get some walls and some fences. Now we just need to figure out which pattern we like the best. Hmm... Yeah, I'm definitely thinking I like this one, but is it camel proof? And to find that out, we need a saddle. So we better get searching. Oh. There is a village. There is a decent chance there might be a saddle in a chest. Nope. Nope. That is a crafting table. 
Not a chest. <gasps> no saddle in the village. Ooh. A desert village. Why is finding a saddle so hard? Ooh. A desert temple. Apparently, there's a 23.5% chance of a saddle in here. So let's hope we get lucky. No, no. Yes! Oh my god, let's go. All right, time for my first time ever riding a camel. Oh, let's go! This is sick. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, camels have a dashing ability so they can leap forward like that. <laughs> That's really cool. But now for the ultimate question. Is this wall camel proof? Yes, it is. Oh my God, yes, the camel can't get over it. So now that we have our wool design, let's grind for the materials. But thankfully, whilst I was waiting for the camels to breed, I was mining a bunch of sandstone. So that's not gonna be a problem. What we really need is acacia wood. Okay, I think we've got everything we need. Now let's build the massive camel protection wall. First, we'll do one layer of this all the way around. And whilst I was doing this, I was making sure to leave enough space to build all the other cool things for our 1,000 camels. We need to make sure that it's 100% camel proof so our camels are nice and safe. Oh no, oh no this, this ravine, ravine might, might be, a be a problem later. later. But now we'll just build across like this. And we are done with the first layer. Now let's do the second. This one's going to take even longer, but it's going to make it look so much cooler. And there we go. The camel protection wall is complete and it's absolutely massive. So now it's time to free the camels and see if the camel protection wall actually works. Be free camels, be free. Go explore your new enclosure. There's so much room for activities. Hopefully the wall is fully camel proof, but let's just see. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, so I'm controlling the camel and I can get up this bit, but I don't think regular camels are smart enough to do that on their own. Um, maybe I was wrong. No, no, come back. Camel, no, we're losing camels. We can't have this. We need to fix it. It only happens when the fences are on the corners. So if we just replace them, that should fix it. And now the wall is 100% camel proof. So before we move on to step two of our camel paradise plan, let's get closer to 1000 camels. Oh, wow. wow. This cactus farm is so good. Okay, this baby camel is my 120th camel, but that means we're still only 12% of the way to 1,000 camels. So we'll have to come back to breeding them later, but for now, it's time to move on to step two of our camel paradise plan. I wanna build pyramids like the ones in Egypt, so my camel paradise really feels like the desert. And thankfully, we have a bunch of sandstone left over from building the walls. So first, let's lay out the base of the pyramid. All right, and now that we've got this massive base, let's make some progress on the pyramid. Come on. All right, I think we need to pause construction on the pyramid. Remember earlier when I said these holes might be a problem? Well, they are definitely a problem. <laughs> and we need to fix them. Come on, camels. I am going to save you. Maybe they'll come out if I show some cactus right come on guys yes you're free yes and now quickly let's patch up the hole and whilst we're at it let's camel proof the rest of the area we don't want any fried camels now do we come on guys get out of there no don't you dare camel why are you trying to go in the ravine yeah i don't care about rabbits you can you can go down there and now for the biggest ravine. I really hope there's no camels down there, but I think the best way to do this is to just do a layer of sandstone and a layer of sand. All right, the holes are filled. Let's get back to building our pyramid. And to make this more interesting, here are some facts about camels that you probably didn't know. Camels are three blocks tall, so when you ride them, smaller mobs like zombies and husks can't reach you. It's actually pretty OP. Camels can also swim in three deep water without kicking you off. This will be very important later. Finally, camels have cool floppy ears when you ride them with a saddle. Yeah, this is definitely the best one. And that is the pyramid complete. But before we make it look really cool, I've spotted these camels escaping our area. So quickly, we need to improve our walls. All right, now the wall is 100% camel proof. We just have to somehow bring all these camels back. 
All right, camel number one. I wonder how many camels actually escaped. And he is safe and secure. Camel two, camel number four. Here's number seven, 11, 18. Oh my god, there's even a camel in this forest over here. In total, there was 34 camels that escaped, and I managed to return every single one of them safely back to our camel paradise. Now I can finally decorate the pyramid. And now wow. with this done, it's nearly time to move on to step three of the plan. But first, I think it's time we got closer to that 1,000 camel gold. Okay, that's about 400 camels. Now let's move on to step three of the camel paradise plan, which of course is to build a camel oasis for all the camels to refill their hum. So for this, we're gonna need two buckets of water. And now we need a big hole in the ground. So with a bit of magic, subscribe to Lockdown Life. Wow, that was pretty easy. Now we need some dirt. And we're just gonna put a layer of this one away from the top. Excuse me, Mr. Camel. Can you get out of the hole, please? Thank you. All right, now that it's completely covered, we can use our water buckets to start filling up the oasis. Oh, that's so satisfying. Okay, now we can get rid of the dirt. All right, it's looking good, but we need to add a few finishing touches. The first of which is some lily pads, and I know just where to get them. Yeah. Ooh, we could also grab a fish. Or two. And finally, I'm going to add an island in the middle for the most elite camels. And of course, this is only three deep, so a camel can walk in it without kicking me off. And whilst we're waiting for some camels to join the island, let's get closer to 1,000 camels. Because we're still only 40% of the way there. Wow, it's getting cramped now. Imagine it at 1,000 camels. And just as we hit 600 camels, we had our first visitors to the elite camel island. Sup, guys? Now, before we get to 1,000 camels, we need to complete two final quick things of our plan. The first of which is building the world's largest cactus. And I think we'll build that here. All right, this is going to hurt my boots a lot, but hopefully we can do this without dying. How long do we have to do this for? Because I'm taking damage. Ow. Well, my health is uh, getting a bit low. It's kind of scary. Where is the world limit? No. No. Oh my god. The ground's going out of render distance. This is one tall cactus. No. Two hearts. Ow. Yes. Oh my god, we did it. And only two hearts left. That is one tall cactus. And now finally, to honor the 1,000 camels, I want to build a giant camel statue for all of them to enjoy. And we'll do this whilst breeding up the camels to get to 1,000 camels. Is my PC gonna crash? I don't know, but let's do this. So after tens of hours of planning, building, and breeding, the camel paradise is now fully complete and occupied by over 1,000 camels. And I'm still getting over 40 FPS because my new PC is a beast. Oh, and by the way, you should watch this video next. 